from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm sadly not Laney Myers. And I'm Laney Myers. There's so much going on here at Indian Hill, so let's get started. You're beautiful. Your Braves JSA club is having their fall state competition this Saturday, where they will debate current issues and controversial topics. The club heads to its Winter Congress in Washington, D.C. on February 10th. If you are in GSA and have any questions about the club or the trip to D.C. for this Winter Congress, talk to Marin McKenna for details. Well, as our seniors head out for their annual trip this Sunday, let's kick it over to local weatherman Jack Johnson for a preview of our weather in Chicago. Hello, my name is Jack Johnson with your Chicago weather for this weekend. Now, on Sunday, it's going to be a high, that's not a low, it's going to be a high of 40 degrees Fahrenheit with winds blowing west-southwest at 15 miles per hour. Now, the humidity, which is going to bring in some rain later on the weekend, it's going to be at 47% with sunrise for you early birds at 6.49 a.m. with sunset at 4.26 p.m., which will be a little bit easier to see. Now on Monday, we're going to have a high of 41 degrees Fahrenheit, a little bit warmer, but with winds blowing at west-southwest at 19 miles per hour, it is definitely going to get a little bit colder. Now the humidity, 56%, sunrise, 6.50 a.m., and sunset at 4.25 p.m. Now for Tuesday, we have temperatures at high of 45 degrees Fahrenheit, winds blowing west at 13 miles per hour, humidity at 49%, it's still going to be raining at this point. Sunrise at 6.52 a.m., sunset at 4.25 p.m., the same time as on Monday. Now to the three-day forecast. On Sunday, we have a high of 40 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 33 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still going to be a little bit sunny, but it is definitely going to be cloudy. Now on Monday, it's definitely going to be raining with a high of 41 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 34 degrees Fahrenheit. On Tuesday, it is still going to be raining because of that humidity. It's going to be 45 degrees Fahrenheit as a high and 35 degrees Fahrenheit as a low. Thank you, and back to the news desk. That was the weather. It's going to be a little chilly, though. So, Pack uh, some layers. Layers. Like, uh, like this? Like denim, preferably. As much denim. As well, speaking of senior trip, we're going to look at our schedule for the weekend. Starting on Sunday, you're going to want to get to school by about 7.30 a.m. for a quick luggage check when we will leave the school at 8 a.m. And we should possibly arrive in Chicago by about 2 p.m. where we will shop until we what, Laney? Drop. Yep. And then we're going to want to check into that Doubletree Hotel and uh, head out for a nice dinner and night on the town and hit up Marcello's for dinner. And we will return to the Ohel hotel and check in upon arrival. And you're going to want to stay in your hotel rooms until 7 a.m., where you're allowed to go get breakfast on your own. Yep. Then, it, be sure to be back at 9.15. We go out to the Omnimax to watch Mockingjay Part 2. And then Doesn't after exist. that, it's a museum trip for everyone. Back at the hotel at 4.15. Uh, and then we leave for Navy Pier for a nice but night on the But not after town. photos. Not at, never forget about the photos. Then, trip out to the cruise at 7.30. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes because you are required to wear shoes at all times. It's a state law, Laney. State law. Well, Tuesday, you're going to want to have breakfast at about 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And then we will leave for Chinatown. And we're going to want to leave Chicago by about 11.30. And you should hopefully arrive by about 7 p.m. Now, that's Eastern time. Don't get yep. confused. Anyone, especially him. Nope. All right, well. This upcoming Saturday, our premier's choir performed their fall show, Cabaret. Cabaret is a dinner show where guests enjoy performances from their choir as they consume food. Come and support your premieres this Saturday at 6 p.m. Tickets are $10. Hey, Joe, have you planned out like your senior trip outfits yet? Uh, mostly denim and uh, Ron Paul shirts, but... Um, in case you don't know, we're going to kick it over to Daniel to hear about some fall fashion do's and don'ts. What's up, Indian Hill? It's your boy, Daniel, coming to you with your annual fall fashion report, telling you what to wear and what not to wear. Now, I got to be quick because I just got a message on Tinder 
But let me tell you something about patterns. Patterns are great. Obviously, I'm wearing a floral pattern. Some people say, Daniel, why are you wearing a floral pattern? It's fall. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing here? You weren't invited to this party. This party's a floral party. Get out of here. Shorts, don't wear them. Knees are disgusting. Buttons, heck no. Zippers are the way to go. They make noise and they're easier. Shoes, or as the Mexicans call them, zapatos. What you need to understand about shoes is if you have laces, tie them up. Bracelets. What's the point of bracelets? Accessories for your wrist? Nah. I think they're to prove vampires are real. I think that was pretty good. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks, for that. buddy. Last Saturday, your dogman put on an outstanding fight against the Clinton Massey Falcons in a neck to neck thriller. The Braves ran out of time as Clinton Massey came out on top with a score of 40 to 34. The Braves made tremendous strides for our football program as they won the CHL and finished off the season with an 11-1 record. Seeing as Thanksgiving is right around the corner, let's check in with some delicious meals that are sure to get our palates ready for Turkey Day. Yeah, Turkey Day. Tur turkey. Laney, you look so pretty. Welcome to the 2015 Indian Hill Iron Chef Sandwich Showdown. Amazing. We got a winner from the first I bell class, and now we're going to see who's winning this. here in bell seven. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, won't you listen to me? You've seen the dishes so far. Which one looks the most promising to you so far? I'm interested in one in the back, the donut with bacon. That's got to be totally healthy for you, too. I give it, I give it a, a nice B plus. Reminds me of Thanksgiving as a child. This is nice. Good. Sweet, savory, delicious. Took a ham one too. That looks delectable. We'd like to give a special shout out to this week's artists in AP Studio Art and Ceramics 3. Thanks for doing an amazing job. Yes, ladies. Of course. And before we go, we'd like to encourage you to like our Braze Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Like all of the school updates, please. Yeah. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend, Braves. And as always, stay glassy, Indian Hill. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it! The only thing stopping you from achieving your dreams is you! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! What you need to understand is that the world can be your oyster. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. What? Where? You? Him? Me? This guy? Over here?